most gamers are missing out on hidden Windows tweaks that can completely transform their performance. In this video, I'm unlocking powerful optimizations that will skyrocket your FPS, eliminate lag, and fix those annoying stutters in every game you play. These aren't your typical tips, these are game-changing settings buried deep in Windows. Try them out and let me know in the comments how much smoother your gameplay feels. Let's dive right in. Frustrated with lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead, so why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. The first and most important step for boosting FPS and fixing lag or stutters is running a deep system scan. It detects and repairs hidden errors or corrupted files that may be quietly reducing your gaming performance. Start by opening the start menu, typing CMD into the search bar, then right clicking on command prompt and choosing run as administrator. Once the command prompt window opens, copy the first command from the video description and paste it into CMD. Hit enter to begin the process. This initial command scans the Windows image for any internal issues and includes the Restore Health function, which automatically detects and repairs corrupted or missing system files. It's an essential scan that helps restore system stability, but it may take a few minutes, so patience is key. After this first scan finishes, head back to the description, copy the second command, and paste it into CMD. Press Enter again to launch a more detailed system-wide scan. This command, known as System File Checker SFC, verifies the integrity of all protected Windows system files and replaces incorrect or damaged versions with the correct ones. It runs quietly in the background, allowing you to multitask while it works. Running both of these commands ensures your Windows installation is clean and error-free, which forms a solid foundation for smoother gaming performance, fewer crashes, and noticeably reduced stuttering in all your games. A powerful yet often overlooked tweak is disabling Nagel's algorithm. Though meant to improve network efficiency, it can cause input lag and delays during gaming. Turning it off helps reduce latency, leading to smoother and more responsive gameplay. To begin optimizing this setting, open Device Manager and expand the Network Adapters section. Locate your active network device, whether it's wired or wireless, right-click on it and select Properties. Go to the Advanced tab, where you'll find various options related to your network performance. Specifically, look for TCP checksum offload and large send offload. These features can cause your network adapter to delay data transmission to reduce CPU load, which in turn may lead to lag spikes in fast-paced online games. Disable both of these options using the drop-down menus next to them. Once disabled, click OK to apply and save the changes. This stops your network card from interfering with real-time data transfer allowing smoother packet delivery and better responsiveness during gameplay. Now in the Device Manager, go to the System Devices section. Locate High Precision Event Timer, or HPET. This system timer can cause FPS drops on certain setups, so turning it off may lead to better gaming performance. To disable it, right-click High Precision Event Timer, select Disable Device, and confirm your choice. If you encounter any performance issues afterward, you can easily re-enable it using the same steps. However, for most users, disabling HPET results in smoother gameplay and a slight FPS boost, making it a valuable optimization step. Now we will use one of the best Windows optimization utilities. To get these softwares, just head over to uptopacks.com. Once you're on the site, navigate to the FPS boost section. You'll easily find the latest post, It'll have the same thumbnail and title as this YouTube video you're watching right now. Click on that post and you'll see a direct download link for the Windows Optimization Pack. Go ahead and download it to your PC. Once that's done, you're ready to move on and follow the rest of the guide for max performance. Once you've opened the Optimizer tool, we're going to begin with the General tab, which is where you'll find a variety of system tweaks designed to improve performance. If you're unsure about any setting, simply click on it. A helpful dialog box will appear explaining exactly what that setting does. Click OK and follow along as we configure only the safe and essential changes while skipping anything that could negatively affect your system. First, enable the Optimize Performance option to improve overall responsiveness. Do the same for network optimization, but keep in mind that this may affect your ping in some cases. 
If you notice higher latency after enabling it, just return to the program and turn it off. Disable unnecessary services like error reporting, program compatibility assistant, print and fax services, sticky notes, and smart screen. However, if you actively use a printer or fax machine, leave those services enabled. When you get to the disk drive settings, avoid disabling system restore. It's a critical feature that can help you recover from future issues. For Superfetch, consider your hardware. If you're on a mid-range or high-end PC, disabling it can speed things up. For very low-end systems, it's best to keep it enabled. You should also disable hibernation to free up disk space and prevent unnecessary background usage. As for NTFS timestamp, it's best to leave this option unchanged, since the performance impact is negligible in most cases. Disabling search services is safe. It won't completely remove Windows search functionality, but it will stop the background service that often consumes resources. In the Apps section, disable any background services you don't use, such as Office Telemetry and services linked to Mozilla, Google, NVIDIA and Visual Studio, if they're installed. Under Privacy Settings, disable options like Telemetry Tasks, Media Player Sharing, unless needed in a work group, and SMB v1 v2 protocols, which are outdated and have been replaced by SMB v3. For Windows 10 specific tweaks, disable features like My People, Optional, Sensor Services, and Cast to Device. Enable long paths to improve compatibility with apps that handle large file structures. You can also disable TPM Check, which helps bypass the secure boot, and TPM 2.0 requirements for upgrading to Windows 11. Only do this if you're not planning to upgrade soon. You may also want to restore the classic photo viewer if you prefer it over the new default. In the Privacy tab, disable all unnecessary tracking options to both protect your data and improve system performance. Move to the Gaming section and enable Game Mode while disabling Xbox Live services and the Game Bar, both of which can run background processes that interfere with gaming performance. In Touch settings, disable everything unless you're on a touchscreen laptop or tablet. When you reach Windows Update, first disable features like Microsoft Store updates, the Insider service, and the option to include drivers in Windows Updates. That said, temporarily enable automatic updates just to bring your system fully up to date, then come back and disable it once updates are installed to prevent background activity while gaming. In the UWP Apps section, go through the list of pre-installed Microsoft apps and remove anything you don't use, such as Bing Weather, Groove Music, Skype, Microsoft Maps, OneNote, Windows Alarms, and the Mixed Reality Portal. You can always reinstall them from the Microsoft Store if needed. Lastly, head over to the Startup tab. Here, you can disable apps that automatically launch when Windows starts. Uncheck resource-hungry software like Adobe Services and Google Chrome Updater, but make sure to leave essential gaming services like Riot Vanguard enabled if you play titles like Valorant. Once you've made your selections, click Delete to remove the unwanted entries from Startup. After completing all these steps, restart your PC. This will apply all changes. Now we'll use the MSI utility tool included in your optimization pack. This powerful tool allows you to enable message signaled interrupts, MSI, which help lower hardware latency and prioritize critical components like your GPU and network adapter for faster performance. Start by right-clicking the MSI utility executable file and selecting Run as Administrator. This is important to ensure the tool has elevated privileges to apply system-level changes. Once the program launches, you'll see a list of all devices that support MSI mode. First, locate your network adapter in the list. These are usually labeled under names like Intel Ethernet Controller, Realtek PCIe, or Wi-Fi adapter. Once found, set its priority to high. This adjustment helps reduce input lag and latency during online gameplay by prioritizing data transmission. Next, scroll through the list to find your graphics card, whether it's from Nvidia or AMD. Set its priority to high as well and check the MSI box to enable message signaled interrupts. Repeat the same for your network adapter. Enabling MSI mode for these devices allows them to communicate more efficiently with the system, which directly contributes to smoother gameplay, lower stuttering, and better FPS stability.
After making these changes, click Apply, then restart your computer to activate the new settings. Finally, to complete your Windows optimization for maximum FPS and smoother gameplay, it's time to apply the registry tweaks included in the registry folder of your optimization pack. These tweaks are carefully designed to fine-tune critical Windows settings that directly impact gaming performance. Open the registry folder and inside you'll find multiple registry files, each targeting a specific system behavior, such as reducing input lag, boosting CPU responsiveness, and enhancing overall system efficiency. To apply these tweaks, simply double-click each file one at a time. When prompted, confirm the changes by clicking Yes and then OK. This will merge the registry settings into your system automatically. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Next up, we're going to optimize virtual memory, a crucial step to boost system stability and ensure smoother, lag-free gameplay, especially on systems with limited RAM. Virtual memory acts as an extension of your physical RAM, helping your system handle demanding games and multitasking more efficiently. Start by opening the Windows search bar, type Advanced System Settings and select the appropriate result. This will open the System Properties window. Under the Performance section, click on Settings, which opens the Performance Options window. Here, switch to the Advanced tab, and under Virtual Memory, click Change to access the Paging File settings. Now uncheck the option that says, Automatically manage paging file size for all drives. After that, select Local Disk, C, which is usually your system drive. We're going to manually set the paging file size for optimal performance. In the Custom Size section, set the initial size to 1.5 times your total RAM and the maximum size to 3 times your total RAM. This ensures stability and prevents performance dips. To calculate these values, open the calculator, multiply your RAM size in GB by 1024 to convert it to MB. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16 by 1024 and it is equal to 16384 MB. Then multiply this value by 1.5. You will get the value of 24576 MB. Put it in the initial size box. Then multiply your RAM size in MB by 3 and you will get the value of 49152 MB. Put it in the maximum size box. Click Set, then OK to apply the changes. To maximize system responsiveness and unlock your CPU's full potential during gaming, we'll apply key registry tweaks. These changes shift system resources toward your games, boosting FPS, cutting lag, and ensuring smoother performance, especially on low-end PCs and CPU-heavy games. Start by opening the search bar on your Windows taskbar, typing Registry Editor and running it as an administrator by right-clicking and selecting Run as Administrator. Once the registry editor is open, copy the first registry path provided in your guide and paste it into the address bar at the top of the window, then press Enter to jump straight to the relevant key. In that location, look for a value named System Responsiveness. Double-click it, change the base to decimal, and set its value to 10. By default, Windows reserves around 20% of your CPU for background services. This tweak reduces that reservation, freeing up more CPU resources for gaming tasks 
which results in smoother frame rates and reduced input lag. Next, we'll focus on giving your game processes higher CPU priority. Copy the second registry path and paste it into the registry editor's address bar, then press enter. Find the value named Win32 Priority. Separation, double click it and set the value to 26. This tweak tells Windows to prioritize foreground tasks, in this case, your games, over background processes. As a result, your game gets faster and has more consistent access to CPU cycles, minimizing stuttering and helping maintain stable performance during intense gameplay. Once you've made both changes, simply close the registry editor. In this step, we'll disable background services that silently drain your CPU and memory. Turning them off frees up resources, making Windows more responsive and boosting gaming performance, especially on low-end PCs. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing services, and selecting it from the results to launch the services manager. This utility lists all the background services currently active or available on your PC, many of which aren't needed for gaming and can be safely disabled to optimize performance. While there are many such services, I'll walk you through a few key ones that have the most impact. First, scroll down to the B section and locate BitLocker Drive Encryption Service. If you're not using BitLocker to encrypt your drives, it's best to disable this. Simply right-click the service, select Properties, change the startup type to Disabled, and click Stop to immediately halt it. Hit Apply and then OK to confirm the changes. Next, go to the C section and find Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. This service collects system diagnostics and usage data for Microsoft, which is completely unnecessary for gaming. Disable it in the same way, right-click, go to Properties, set it to Disabled, click Stop, and apply the settings. In the D section, look for Distributed Link Tracking Client, a service used mainly for network-based file tracking. For gamers, this is usually pointless. Disable it, just like the previous services, to reclaim more CPU resources. No, we head over to the R section and locate Remote Registry. This service allows remote access to your registry, which poses a security risk and is useless for local gaming setups. Disabling it is a smart move. Right-click, open properties, set it to, disabled, stop it, and save the settings. Lastly, if you're someone who prefers to manually check for Windows updates, instead of having them run in the background at random times, you can manage the Windows Update service itself. Scroll to it, right-click, select Properties, and set the startup type to Manual or Disabled, depending on your preference. Don't forget to apply the change before exiting. Once you've finished disabling these unnecessary services, close the Services Manager and restart your PC to apply the new settings. You'll likely notice reduced background activity. That wraps up today's video. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more optimization tips. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy gaming.